Good morning. Welcome to Option Center's Thursday, January 11th. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us here. We're going to go through SPY, QQQ, and we're going to go around the horn uh, with the big tech stock. We're going to check things out. We are showing a little bit of exhaustion here. And with SPY eking out just a new recent high, we're getting a little bit more diversion. So uh, I do think we have our turn here. Um, We'll go through and check these out. So if you're new here, go down to that bottom right-hand corner, hit that Options Turner logo, and subscribe. Um, don't forget to like the video. You guys have been helping out so much. I'm so appreciative. We've been growing this channel. Let's keep it going. Here we go. We have SPY on the daily time frame. Then we'll go down to the 65 and check out the Elliott Wave as well. We have SPY. What you're going to see here is a theme. You see in the turquoise we have a rising wedge we're forming these bearish rising wedges here um we're hitting the top of them i did have to redraw this just a little bit it seemed to fit with all the points here so we have a top here an overthrow a top here and a top here and a new top today so we'll continue to monitor this and this is our traditional net technical analysis so um this is a bearish setup. We are getting rejection as of today with CPI. If you check out, uh, I'll link the videos above. The last two or three videos were bullish into CPI. So as of Friday, I believe we had our, our bounce and we were looking for a uh, move up into CPI. We got that move and a fake move. We had a gap up. Today with the CPI reading, I guess it was a little hot. Doesn't matter what the numbers are. We're we're reading charts, and uh, was rejected down. And now we're we have a bearish engulfing candle, and we're starting to get back into this trading area here. Looking at uh, some of the indicators, we're not going to go through all of them. Just want to show the MACD. So we made a new divergent point here and we're testing that eight ema as we speak that's uh coinciding with the 20. and so technically we're still considered in an uptrend until we get below there but we do have reversal signals which we just need follow through at this point and the eight ema is going sideways so that's you know it's not a real strong move to the upside so it's just kind of moving sideways at this point so if we get underneath there we can start trending to the downside i do think this move is complete but we'll we'll need confirmation for that so we have um, negative divergence on the macd a new divergence on rsi you see it's getting weaker and weaker and we're starting to curl over on the slow stoke getting that sell signal here so this is a great daily sell signal for you swing traders headed to the downside i do think uh, not in a straight line but i do think we break this wedge and we continue lower at this point. So let's um, go ahead and take a look at our Elliott wave. We'll just revisit it where we're looking at a flat pattern. We did not make a new all time high yet. So we're still considering this a larger A, an A in turquoise, B, and a C. And we'll just move that over because we get that slight new high there. And so we're going to have to start our count to the downside over. So we should see an impulse move to the downside. Four, one, two, and a larger degree one. We'll adjust all those. But the whole point is, in the long run, we'll be looking for an A, a B. We think that B is complete. And a C down lower and that's just the start and you can look at um, past videos again I'll link that at the end where we have a much bigger picture correction after that what's going to happen is is all of these readings that were were all these bearish divergences going to lead us to this next move and then down here at this uh the end of C we're going to have all these bulls jumping in Joey just saying hey you know we're looking for uh, new all-time highs now this correction this bear market is over and uh, we're looking for the end near this point and we're just going to get all-time highs from there and i don't think that's the case i think we'll get a nice large bounce and then 
uh, a descent into a much larger correction at that point. So you can check out that video later on. Okay, now let's go to, over to the cues. And now we're gonna move a little bit quicker because you're gonna see that most of these are um, very similar. So we have the cues, triple cues, bearish rising wedge. Didn't quite hit the top of that wedge. I mean, we you can always adjust these to where if you take the shadows out and uh, things like that. So that's not a big deal. Not worried about that. We're just getting this uh, this cloud cover right now with a lower high. So we're not making a new high on the QQQ. But this one's just a little bit different because we made new all-time highs here. So we're dipping below, back testing, and we can continue, continue lower at this point. The MACD and the RSI, they say the same thing. So we're not going to revisit that. We're just going to check out our Elliott Wave for this one. <clears throat> With the top here. Okay, so we had our top here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where we had um, an A, a B. Nope, actually that one's not right. Sorry about that. I don't I don't edit these videos, so you're getting this real time here, folks. All right, so we had the end of our move here, and then we made a new all-time high. So we're counting this as the fifth wave top here, and then we had our initial one and pull back for a two. And we'll clean up these charts later on as we revisit them. And now we're looking at our initial move to the downside. So along with the SPY looking for a five wave impulsive move down, our beginning of our move for the tech sector should be a nice impulse five wave move down. The only difference is, is when we, it, you, you can't end a correction off of a five wave move uh, uh, off an uh, of an initial five wave move. So we'll get a bounce afterwards, which should be a nice 62% uh, retracement for an ABC and then a five wave move down again for a zigzag. So we have the uh, SPY overall making a complex, a, um, a flat pattern, and we have the Qs making a possible zigzag at this point. All right, let's go through the big tech stocks and then maybe we'll just check out uh, the VIX, see how that's doing. Okay, so we have Apple. This move here, we made a new high, all time highs, and uh, we're looking for our initial uh, move down here. Now, Apple can correct just a little bit more. It does have some room to run. It doesn't appear to be a full impulse wave yet, but you can count it that way to where this is a, uh, you have the extension in wave five. So we would have one, two, three, four, and five. And we're just getting a bounce at this point. This could just be a simple uh, wave two bounce here. You do have a five, three, five in here. So you could continue to the downside if it continues to be weak, weak here. On the um, Now I'm not sure Apple not anymore at this point. Uh, we are underneath that 8 EMA, but uh, we're getting a little bit uh, oversold here on the RSI with this bounce. We're continuing to move down here. All the signs are bearish at this point, but uh, we've already had that um, pretty, pretty large move down there from the uh, Barclays downgrade. So we're not gonna short into, they call it shorten into the hole. And then you have Amazon. See the similarity with the rising wedge? We're at the top of that wedge with a possible reversal candle here, a nice dragonfly doji, and we have a smaller wedge within, so we'll see if we get continuation. So, so far today, we're just getting these signs of a reversal. We don't have continuation, so you have to be careful about that. Price action can still uh, lift to the upside if it needs to, but we are definitely getting weak conditions and, um, and all the bearish divergences so they might, might start playing out here and they should be pretty aggressive uh, meaning over time in the next few weeks to months um, to the downside and if not and then uh, we are wrong and then something else is happening so you see the rising wedge here on meta getting that reversal off of it same thing 
Google had the rising wedge, broke down from it, made a new high, not an all-time high, but we're considering this a flat pattern as well. So we have an A, B, and we're looking for that C continuation down, but we had um, uh, price action make another wedge. Microsoft, large bearish rising wedge into all-time highs. You had three drives to a top here. Drive one, made it made a high, corrected. Two, corrected. And now three for the setup to the downside. Tesla already is ahead of the game here, but we're going to look at this just a little bit different, not as a wedge. We're looking at this as a possible flag pattern that we're breaking out from. And so we're using Tesla to hedge to the upside. It did not work because uh, this is considered a fake break here. We have the channel breakout and break back into the channel. So this one should be pretty aggressive at this point to the downside. Uh, when these fake breaks happen, the energy actually goes the opposite way. Looking at NVIDIA, so we've been looking at NVIDIA for um, this channel, okay? So we had sort of a flag inside a channel, inside the channel, uh, broke up, hit the top of the channel, came down to our buy zone, and we were bullish on NVIDIA, and it started to break out, played out just the way we like it. It's been really good to us this last week going into yesterday, as a matter of fact, but we're actually starting to short a NVIDIA at this point. The reason is, is we're, we see the channel breakout, but if you look within there, you can actually draw this wedge. A little bit of a throw over. Well, maybe not. I had to adjust the wedge here. Yeah, a little bit of throw over there. And you have the bottom of the wedge right along with our theme here. So we're looking at the uh, rejection here off of the wedge top. Uh, we thought there could be a little price action above here, but until we get above this resistance, then we we have to be, uh, we can continue to be bearish at this point. And looking for a reversal, some follow through, it's a cloud cover at this point. And that's it for the big tech stock. Let's just uh, stop with the VIX here. We'll check it out on, here's the daily time frame. So we have this larger wedge that we're looking at, uh, excuse me, this larger falling channel here. And then a falling wedge within that channel. We broke out from it, kind of eked out a new high, started to correct. And we we're looking at that as a, um, as a closing the gap over here and then possibly reversing from that. So we're getting that point. There is a little bit lower that it can go off price action for the, um, for the overall market needs to go just a little bit higher then VIX could start to fall a little bit but it looks like we're getting our uh, bullish engulfing candle here to start our reversal so um, after this reversal is completed this could be considered a one two one two setup if we start to make a new high here then we're off to the races and what we'll have to kind of uh, monitor throughout time is if you notice this wedge that broke down from the channel top, all we could be doing is back testing that wedge and then could, could continue lower at that point. <clears throat> so that's what we'll have to monitor. If we break out from this channel, then uh, all hell should break loose in the market. So be very aware of that. Um, I know that uh, we should kind of take a look at SPY. It, it's, it's more the inverse of SPY. So, if you see the back test here, we had this nice, large, large, intense move here. If we start to correct down to maybe the lower ends of the channels or support somewhere down here, then you'll probably see a bounce here and then a rejection on SPY. And then we'll have to see what could possibly happen at that point. Do we go to new all-time highs or do we start to break down from this channel wedge? So, And we'll be looking at all of our indicators at that point. And we'll take it from there. But uh, for now, I think we're getting our reversal. Um, we could uh, keep an eye. We'll do on the next video. We'll take a look at the dollar and at rates to see if that confirms what's happening. And we'll also take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, right now, I think we're getting a reversal off of that. But we'll, we'll keep this uh, video a little bit shorter and we'll go into the next video next time, uh, probably tomorrow. So thanks for joining us here at Options Center. Don't forget to like the video. We will. Talk to you later.